right, today we got something special for you. That's right. We got us a Gamo Air Rifle. What the hell is that? Now, this ain't the kind of pellet guns that you used to use when you was little and you used to shoot each other with. There's a whole different world of pellet rifles out there now. These ones here, these are some bass on bitches. I'm telling you. They might fuck you up if you mess around with them. That's right. Now, let us start out by saying one thing very, very important. We are not professionals here. That's right. Now, we pretend to be on TV, but when it comes to real life, safety is first. That's right. So you out there, you need to be careful. Don't follow our steps. That's right. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. That's damn right. All right. While Jim Bob gathers up some of the stuff we need for the ballistics testing, I'm going to run down some specs on the gun for you. That's it. Now this here, this Gamo, this is 1,250 feet per second. It's got, uh, comes with its own scope. It's not much, but you know what? It's an air rifle scope, specifically made for these type of things. It's got a uh, muzzle blast reduction on it, so it's called the Whisper. I should bring that out right now. This is the Whisper model. Muzzle brake on it, it reduces a lot of sound. It's got a fluted polymer bull barrel with it. Now that some bitch don't look like much in the camera, but in real life it's a lot thicker than you think. As you can see, it's got fiber optic rear sights. It's also got, you can't really see it, but it's got a little wee pin in there on that front side. It's a different color than the back side. The front side's green, or the front side's red, the back side's green. That way you can really pinpoint what you're aiming at. It's got an all weathered synthetic stock, makes it very nice to hold on to. It's got itself a little thumb break in that stock there, makes it real comfortable. We got a thick ventilated rubber recoil pad on the back. Now, these things, believe it or not, they have a kick to them. This one's not as much as, you know, say uh, a 7.62 or nothing, but it's got a little bit. It's going to let you know when it went off. Now, it's a .177 caliber. Now, when I first seen this gun, I was like, how the hell do you break this thing and put your artillery in here? And I figured out through some research, you pull this son of a bitch down, ugh, right there, you can stick in your pellets. And uh, to me, I think a pellet gun's pretty pussy. But this thing kind of looks like it might be legit. Right here, we have your basic pellets. These ones here, they ain't too fancy. They uh, got the normal pellet shape to them, but they got a rounded end to them, almost like there's a ball stuck in the end of them. These little things here might not look like much, but they'll ruin your day, buddy. They will. Right here, we got us some ballistic tips. Now, these things are orange, they're big and bright, and I bet you these sons of bitches pack a punch. These are new, we haven't tried these out, so for all we know, they might explode. I'm going to get this one. Well, I think it's safe to say that the normal ones blow the shit out of it. And the uh, ballistic tips shoot a little hole right through there. I can see right through it. Well, that was scary as fuck. That son of a bitch came right back at us. Right here, we have a little ding. Wait, I just rubbed it off. Let me see. That don't look like... There ain't no marks on there. So that son of a bitch hit this, ricocheted back. So, for safety reasons, I ain't that drunk today. We're not shooting the ballistic in the wood. Wood challenge, it don't work going through wood. So be careful. I'm gonna get this one clean. Well, 
I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> well, didn't work as we planned it would. Nope. Didn't break the damn screen too much. I mean, it messed it up a little bit, but man, that thing was ricocheting. Every yeah, shot. Right there. There's one sticking out right there. Oh, god damn. Huh. One god ricochet damn. went right across my neck. It's bleeding. So we decided not to do that anymore. But um, we did fuck it up and it looks like there's ink going in there and there's a bullet stuck in there. So uh, I think we did an all right job. Yeah, we did the best we could. All right, well, we couldn't figure out any tests. Plus it's kind of starting to get dark. So we decided to uh, just shoot it more, see if we can blow up the screen with these, uh, with these uh, pellets. Because if the pellets go through the screen, as you know, they'll go through glass, won't go through wood. Now, I'm, I'm willing to bet here that the regular ones are gonna do a little bit more than the ballistic ones. Just because them ballistic ones are probably more for flesh and more lively shit like that. That's true. But we'll do some shooting. I would say we're going to crack the screen in maybe like five more shots. We'll find out, won't we? Let's do it. All right. Yeah, Clint. There's some bitch getting through the screen. So, uh, one last thing we need to do before we get out of here. We're gonna smash this TV, alright? That's right. I got that son of a bitch. Cut my finger. But I got that son of a bitch. Well, we just got back from doing that little video there, shooting this thing and That's doing right. our little review on it. Jim Bob had a little bit of a misfortune when we were out there. I'll be all right. I'm just taping her up. Why don't you tell them what you did, you dumbass? Well, reaching the TV. Inside the TV, we're just glass. I cut myself. I'm not proud of it. It hurts. Who would have thought there'd be glass inside of a TV? Yep. Dumbass. It's down to the white meat, but uh, I ain't going to the house, but I ain't no pussy. So let's, get, anyway, let's do this. Back to the real thing here. <laughs> this gun, it's not too bad. Definitely worth every penny of it. Like I said... Ain't gonna be shooting through any TVs or anything real hard. But, pretty sure you got yourself a little critter. That's gonna take care of it right there. That's right, and like I said, it don't shoot through glass, so it can't shoot through anything. So when you got when you buy one of these, you make sure you don't try to shoot just anything. Like steel, yeah. like aluminum. Nothing like that. Like hard plastics, because it's gonna bounce right off. That's right, you don't want none of that happening now, do you? So I would give this thing probably a four out of five stars, yeah. or four out of five bullets, if you will. Yep, uh, pellets. Pellets, if you, yeah, there you go. I don't right. even have a score. All right. For. I'll give this a five, a four out of five, too. I four out of five, okay. Here it is, the Gamo Whisper. Get yourself out there, pick one up, and get one of them at your damn, their Walmarts, or you can get one at Gander Mountain, but you're going to pay a little bit more, because Gander Mountain's a pain in the ass. That's right, and they're communists. All right, Till next time. We'll see you later. Ugh. <sighs>